Dave Webb, uh, chair of the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament in the UK. And <clears throat> we've been campaigning now for over 60 years on nuclear disarmament to try to remove nuclear weapons from the UK and from the world. Um, so at the moment, the UK has one nuclear weapon system, that's the Trident submarine system, uh, which has, uh, we have four nuclear submarines which contain nuclear weapons, and there's one of those on patrol every hour of every day, uh, somewhere in the, in the high seas. And <clears throat> we're campaigning against those. Now that nuclear weapon system is not, although we're, we're told repeatedly by our governments, one government after another, that those nuclear weapons are independent of the United States. In fact, they're totally dependent on the United States. The missiles are something that we rent from the, new, from the US, so we lease the weapons, the, the missiles. Uh, the warheads are developed jointly with the United States and the submarines are totally reliant on the design of the missiles. Uh, so they have also to be designed according to US um, uh, dimensions and so on. Uh, and so when we, we, we don't really know how independent the firing of the missiles might be, but we do know that, those, uh, that that nuclear weapon system is committed to NATO. It's part of the NATO nuclear system too. And that governs the way our political uh, mechanisms uh, work in order to, to, should we ever use nuclear weapons. So for example, many people in the UK believe that we have a no first use policy regarding nuclear weapons. But it was admitted some years ago now that we can't have such a policy because we are committed to NATO and NATO does not have a no first use policy. So it would be possible for the UK Trident system to be used uh, on, as a first, um, on a first uh, come basis. Uh, and I don't, I don't think many people in the UK are aware or understand that, aware of that or understand it. Now, the, <clears throat> we have had um, a, 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 an opposition to nuclear weapons in the UK traditionally, which uh, goes up and down in numbers according to the circumstances. I think coming out of the COVID experience will be a very good opportunity for us to say we want to rebuild um, our ideas of what security means. Um, the nuclear weapons offer no security whatsoever. Uh, we're told that they they're, they're a deterrent, but there's no evidence for this. And we can't really use nuclear weapons without threatening the whole of life on the planet. So it would be totally irresponsible to do that. In fact, what nuclear weapons, the only thing I can see that nuclear weapons do is the politicians get some kind of status from us still having them. That means that uh, they believe it puts us on a different level to a number of other nations. Uh, we're, we're told again that um, being on, on, of having a permanent seat on the Security Council of the United Nations, we would lose that if we got rid of nuclear weapons, but that's not true either. There's nothing written into the procedures or processes that says you have to have nuclear weapons to be a, a permanent member. That's just the way it turned out in the first place. So there are all kinds of reasons why we should actually divest ourselves of this empirical kind of idea, this empire kind of thinking and, and go, look to the future rather than to the past. Uh, there is uh, one interesting development in the UK, and that is in Scotland, where the vast majority of people there are totally against nuclear weapons. They want them out of their country. And in fact, it's in Scotland where the nuclear submarines are actually based. Uh, the base there at um, Faslane, just outside of Glasgow, is where the nuclear weapons submarines are berthed and where nuclear weapons travel up and down the country from Aldermaston, the factory where they're built, up to Faslane by road. Uh, every few months uh, they need to get um, reconditioned and uh, so they travel in these huge convoys, putting everybody at risk along the roadside that, uh, that they travel on. And they actually come quite close to where I live in, in Yorkshire. So <clears throat> there are all kinds of reasons and um, 
opportunities for us to get the people, the local pub, um, population to consider what these things are actually doing. Because the, the government at the moment is still planning to replace Trident with the new system. We have to do that because the Americans are replacing their Trident submarine system. So we have to do the same thing. And it's going to cost us 200, over, well over 205 billion pounds to, to start to uh, carry on using this, compute, this, um, this nuclear weapon system on submarines. And not only is the technology out of date because nuclear submarines can now be readily detected from space or from uh, drones, underwater drones. So they can't hide under the oceans like they were supposed to do and be the deterrent in that way or become a, a so-called deterrent in that way. Uh, they're out of date and dangerous and we will be spending over 200 billion pounds on them. Now people will, when we're recovering from this huge kind of financial catastrophe that as well as a health catastrophe, it's a financial catastrophe of, of COVID. We're, we're going to suffer the worst financial situation for over 300 years, it's been predicted. And the health service has been really at a, a stretch to a maximum. And yet no further money is being necessarily promised to them. Nurses, are, we were expecting nurses to get a pay rise. That's not going to happen. All kinds of things like that. So the priorities of the government need to change. We have to make sure we build a... A, a, a proper society that's secure in other ways that we can we can be we can be faithful that our health service that our welfare service is going to work for us uh, and not be put on a strained or even overburdened uh, system like like we've experienced during the COVID crisis. Um, so sorry to get back to the Scottish uh, si situation. The people, the vast majority in Scotland, do not want nuclear weapons. There are also now a vast majority of Scottish people want independence from the, the rest of the United Kingdom. They want to be able to govern their own um, affairs. Uh, and <clears throat> if that, that should happen, then nuclear weapons will have to be removed from Scotland. And if that happens, there's nowhere else for them to go in the UK. Around the coastline of the UK, there is no real safe place for them to be uh, and suitable place for them to be birthed. So it might mean then if that happens that we obtain nuclear weapon, uh, nuclear uh, disarmament in that way, which, um, which, which would be fine by me. Uh, any way of getting rid of nuclear weapons, almost any way anyway, would be, would be most highly desirable. So we're um, <coughs> very much in favour of creating a, a European nuclear free zone, uh, new, nuclear weapon free zone. And we're also trying to obtain um, more support for the treaty for the prohibition of nuclear weapons. At the moment, uh, I think there we are 10 states short of it becoming um, uh, enshrined in, in, in international law, which would be a wonderful step forward. Uh, we're in, trying to mobilize lots of local politicians, councillors and other people, local councillors that have been voted in that are therefore uh, representatives of the people to sign up to this treaty uh, or to sign up to say they support the treaty and encourage the UK government to, to sign it. There's no sign at the moment that the current UK government would sign uh, such a treaty but it's possible, who knows, with the huge financial problems that we're facing, many people in, in the military themselves don't like Trident because it costs far too much. You can't do anything with it and they prefer other things for, for, their, um, for their armed forces. So um, we're encouraging people to, do, to, to, to sign up to that to help with producing more support for the TPNW, the Treaty for the Prevention for Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. And also we're hoping now too to join with other people in Europe, although we've left uh, the EEC, European community, we're still part of Europe. I think many of us still consider ourselves to be part of Europe. And we would like to join with the peace 
movements uh, throughout Europe to end things like nuclear sharing, because nuclear sharing, the, 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 the sort of um, putting nuclear weapons, American nuclear weapons on other people's soil is the same kind of what we're experiencing really with the Trident system. We're using American nuclear weapons. Uh, and that means we're, we're kind of indebted, not indebted, but we're in the pockets of the, of the American military and of their strategies, of the things they want to do. And we, 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 that's not a healthy situation for any state to be in. So um, <clears throat> we are joining with the European nuclear free, weapon free um, zone uh, campaign. We want to end nuclear sharing and we want more people, more citizens to, to rise up and demand these things as well as to demand their governments sign the treaty for the prohibition of nuclear weapons. It's going to be up to us, the people, to get rid of nuclear weapons from the planet. We've got to persuade or force our politicians to follow that path too. So I hope that you can join us and become part of that amazing campaign. Thank you.